Well, that fire happened last night at a home on King George Key in Indian River. And 13 News Now reporter Megan Perrier joins us in the studio with that story. David Ernie, the house is completely destroyed, but everyone safely escaped. And today, neighbors are thanking Chesapeake firefighters for that escape. They are on point, and I said so that I need to thank them. Today at the store, Andre Barco thanked Chesapeake firefighters. I figured they were probably part of the unit that responded last night. Firefighters responded to calls about smoke last night in Georgetown Commons. A little smoke that I did see was upstairs, just out of one, one window. Just five doors down, smoke funneled out of his neighbor's townhouse. Neighbors watched the scene from the street. Seeing this crowd of people, generally I don't see that many people, you know, coming and going at one time and they were all watching, you know, the firemen, you know, do perform their jobs. Barker was worried the fire would spread to more units. Do we need to get out and how far we need to get out? In this kind of situation, you know, it was very scary. Firefighters rescued two people inside and contained the flames. Uh, up in the attic, you know, there's a firewall that uh, prevents fire from jumping from one unit to the other. Firefighters say a forgotten candle caused this damage. The water damage and smoke damage can do a lot. The destruction means all four people living inside have to find a new place to stay. But Barco says everyone is just grateful no one died. We're very relieved. A few of us, you know, hugged each other out here. We're so thankful that, you know, that, that no one got hurt. And I've just learned that family has found another place to live until they get their home back. Live in the newsroom, I'm Megan Prier, 13 News Now.